You know, I would have loved to have been in the theater with 10-year-old me watching this film. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Now, in this film, we follow a group of teens. It's Halloween night. They decide they're going to sneak into the haunted house of Sarah Bellows. And while they're in there, they uncover her book of scary stories. And as they start to read it, they realize the stories are coming to life. And those creatures are now after them one by one. Now, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is based off a popular book series, and I read that series as a kid. In fact, quick little story time, I remember lying to my teacher because she almost got me in trouble for reading them at school, and I was like, well, they're for AR points, you know, and she believed me. I mean, but who couldn't, who wouldn't believe this little face when he lies? So, yes, I was very excited about the film adaptation of these books. It comes from the director of Troll Hunters and Autopsy of Jane Doe, two films I absolutely loved, and Guillermo del Toro, the legend, is executive producer and has a, a hand and involvement into this film. So yes, I was very excited. And ladies and gentlemen, every generation, there's a horror film that comes out. While I think adults can really enjoy, really work very well as a gateway horror film for the next generation. For those kids who are trying to get into horror, but you don't want to show them martyrs. In my opinion, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, it's the next great gateway horror film. It's the next Poltergeist. It's the next The Gate. A film that you can showcase and get new horror fans risen and excited to come and watch more. I love this movie. Yes, I will sleep soundly tonight because I've seen plenty of horror but I had a great time watching this film. This film took me back to my 10 year old self and I can tell you now, that 10 year old self watching this movie would have walked out thinking that this was the scariest and greatest horror movie ever. And I think one of the things that works very well with this film are the stories themselves. I know a lot of people thought, especially adults, thought that they should have done an anthology and yeah, an anthology would have been great, but I liked the way that they weaved them all together in one cohesive narrative storyline. It works very well. Well, and I like the stories that they chose. They're all distinct and different that I think will provoke nightmares for each individual person. Like I could totally understand why someone would think Harold or the Jangly Man or the Pale Lady or the Big Toe was the scariest of the stories for them. And I'm curious to know what your favorite scary story in this film was. I'll tell you mine. Mine was the Pale Lady. No, 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 no. That one ruined me. I was like, throw this movie away. I was so scared. And I thought the practical effects were incredible. And I'm so glad that they utilized that in this film because I think it's only going to help age this movie better. I thought the actors do a very good job with their characters. I do think the characters themselves are a little too stereotypical and some of them are a little underwritten while one in particular gets a lot of screen time. I would have liked a little bit more time with some of the side characters. Now, for a PG-13 film, they really really pushed the boundaries. At times I was like, whoa, where are we going with this? Overall, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is the next great gateway horror film that can rise up and inspire the next generation of horror enthusiasts. It's got great cinematography, solid characters, good acting, and some absolutely fantastic scares practical effects, and just a really great spooky atmosphere that I could see this film becoming a new Halloween tradition every year. As the score goes, I'm going to give Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark a 4 out of 5. So you guys, there you have it. I love this film and I can't wait to hear what you guys had to think of it. Let me know in the comment section below which story was your favorite. Which one scared you the most? Did you like this movie? Did you not like this movie? Where were you on the spectrum? Let me know everything in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Slash Movier, and you guys have just been slashed.